want you to think right now, what do you want? If in the next 30 to 40 minutes, I know I only have 30, but I'm probably taking 40. Um, <laughs> if in the next 30 minutes I could give you one thing that would make it easy for you to get what you wanted, whether it's that trip to Mexico, or maybe you want to write a book and doing this business and being successful buys you the time to do it, or maybe you have an aging parent and you need help with that, or maybe you've always wanted to start a restaurant, or maybe you're like Courtney, who I met on the dance floor last night, which, by the way, was a blast. I want to thank everybody that boogied down with me. Courtney, who's, who's going to be... Courtney, are you in here, or did she leave? Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. She's going to be on NBC on Food Fighters. Okay. Um, but so, whatever it is that you want, I promise you, there is something in the things that I'm going to teach you today that will give it to you. I know you kind of look like, huh? What is she talking about? <laughs> I, I came here for the party, and I'm just here to sell some shirts. What? What? No, I want you to think about this. What do you want, for real? Is it a certain amount of money? Is it sending your kids to college? Is it the ability to feel amazing about something that you've built? Is it the fact that you miss mentoring people, so you want to build a team? What do you want? And I want to remind you guys about something. Yes, I'm coming down. I told you I was going to hunt people down. One of the things that's really cool that wasn't true about 10 years ago is that we live in an amazing moment of time. For Sorry, I didn't mean to kick you. For anything that you want to do, right, you have all the information that you need. So let's say you want to write a book. You could Google writing a book, and you would find all the information you need about self-publishing. Let's say you want to start, well, you do have a business, so that's a bad example. We're not going to start any other businesses except Jay Helburn, okay? <laughs> you got that? Nothing else. So let's say that you wanted to write it, you're writing a book. Let's say that your spouse wanted to open a restaurant. Let's say that you wanted to take your grandmother's tomato sauce and can it and launch it as a family recipe. For anything that you want to do, get in shape, do a triathlon, ditch the loser you're married to, I don't know what you want, but you know, whatever it is, there's the information out there. There are the contacts that you need, meaning you can stalk people on Facebook, you can follow people on Instagram, you can find out anything about anybody for whatever subject you need. There's the technology. Hell, when you buy my book today, I'm just going to swipe a little square through an iPad, and now I have a store. I couldn't do that 10 years ago. And there's also social acceptance. It is true. I know, she's like, this, this chick's right. Yeah, she's right. So there's also social acceptance. You want to start a business, even though you have four kids and you're divorced, nobody's going to be like, bad idea, you can't do that. And so here's the other thing. There's nothing stopping you, and I'm going to prove it to you. If you don't have what you want, it's not because you don't have the information. It's not because you don't have the contacts. It's not because you don't have the technology or the acceptance. It's because you're stopping yourself.